do you know there's such a thing as a steam drill? I did not know that. But in the mid 1800s, rail companies and mining companies began to use steam drills. Now, why would you use a steam drill? Well, they had to clear a lot of rock. And up until that point, there was a man with a sledgehammer and somebody holding a metal spike and they would bang that spike into the ground deep enough so they could drop dynamite, so they could blast the rock out of the way. So in the mid 1800s, as steam was really starting to come into prevalence, you know, they were finding uses for steam everywhere. They came up with the steam drill. So it's kind of a mechanized version of what a man was doing. So think about a heavy, heavy steam rod or a steel rod being pounded into the ground by use of a steam and a piston and a steam motor and all that stuff. In 18, I believe if I have my dates right, 71, a gentleman by the name of Simon Ingersoll made a little enhancement to that is that he made the drill bit to rotate, creating the first hammer drill. Now, why does Ingersoll sound familiar to you? Later on, he bought the Rand Drill Company and became Ingersoll Rand, which is kind of a big deal company these days. Something else interesting about the steam drill, you may remember the legend of John Henry, the man versus machine story. So as legend has it, the railway company that John Henry worked at was staging a contest to see if this new steam drill was more effective than a man with a sledgehammer and a spike and a stick of dynamite. And John Henry stepped up to the task, trying to save jobs for all the other men that did what he did, and he took on the steam drill head to head. In fact, as legend has it, that he drilled 15 feet and the steam drill only drilled nine feet and then he died from exhaustion right after the contest.